are you doing today? Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos. Today I'm going to focus on cookbooks because I recently have been buying them up like crazy. They sell really, really well for me. I'll tell you at the end of the video where I sell them, okay? <laughs> I'm encouraging you to watch the entire video. Remember that you can speed up this video by clicking on the cog down below the video and going from normal to 1.25. All right, let's start out with one of the earliest cookbook authors, and that is Fanny Farmer. Everybody in the world has heard of Fanny Farmer and she published her first cookbook in 1896. It was called the Boston Cooking School Cookbook and you often find it out in the wild with a kind of a yellowish gold cover or maybe a green cover. This is a much newer edition. She um, obviously is no longer alive, <laughs> um, but the cookbook is super popular, still being published. This is a 1989 edition, and it has all new recipes and um, a few illustrations in it. And it retails for $19.95. In, in 1989, it cost $19.95. Today, um, I could sell this copy um, on the secondary market for 12, about 10 to 12, possibly $15. And then I also have this Fanny Farmer baking book and it will likely sell for about the same. It was published in 1984. Um, cookbooks are one of the, um, vintage and antique items that you can sell. I find you can sell um, even when they're newer, like this one. I tend to focus on well-known brands, well-known authors. I have had the most success um, working at it that way. Okay, so next I want to show you um, Better Homes and Garden, an iconic classic cookbook. This is a 1972 edition. It is one of the three ring um, binder type cookbooks. This should sell for about 15 to 25 dollars. Here's a newer edition of the same cookbook. Here I'll show you. You can see the difference in the covers. This is 1989 and it should sell for about 15 to 18 dollars. And then here's another 1989 uh, cover in the hardback edition and it should sell 12 to 15 dollars. These cookbooks I find people are buying, like I said, because they're iconic, but also because of the red and white wet and <laughs> red and white plaid, which is very attractive and looks great in the kitchen. Okay, another iconic um, cookbook is the Betty Crocker Picture Cookbook. This is a new edition. This cookbook, this is 1998. It was originally published in 1950. The 1950 edition will sell for $25 to $30 depending on its condition. This one should sell for about 10 to 12 dollars and then here it is in three ring binder form and it should sell for about the same maybe a little bit more in the 20 dollar range this cookbook was initially published with a cloth cover and it had um images of food on the front of it some of you might be familiar with that one mine that's the one that my mother had it's the one that my uh, where my father got his apple pie recipe, which is to die for. And then I have another Betty Crocker cookbook here. This is Betty Crocker International Cookbook, 1980, and picked it up at a, at a Salvation Army for 99 cents. That's what I like to pay for my cookbooks, unless I'm absolutely sure of the value. So the International Cookbook should sell for 10 to $12. And right now I'm gonna show you a picture of a Betty Crocker cookbook that does date to 1950. It is 
a rarer edition in blue. It came in a sleeve and I recently sold it for $40. Now, uh, along the same lines of known brands, here is the new Pillsbury cookbook, dating um, originally 1973, but this is a 1975 edition, and it should sell for $15 to $25. Um, Pillsbury put out a number of cookbooks, and of course, there's the Pillsbury Bake Off pamphlets that a lot of people like to collect. And here is the General Foods Kitchen Cookbook. And this one dates to 1959. It is the first edition. It may be the only edition as far as I know. And it should sell for $10 to $15. I don't know if you want to see the inside of that one. It's got some really nice vintage looking photographs on the inside. And then there's a Rival Crock-Pot Cookbook. And Rival, of course, being the one of the brands of um, a popular brand for um, crock pots. And this dates to 1975, and it should sell for about six to eight dollars. It's got a, a metal ring binder on it. And then here is a Bon Appetit cookbook. I would not necessarily pick up this cookbook, although it was 99 cents. Look at the size of it, and it originally cost $34.99, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get $10 to $12 for that cookbook. Now let's look at a couple of newer, or maybe not so branded cookbooks. How about let's call that one the Everybody Bring a Dish Cookbook very vintage, dating to 1974. It should bring eight to ten dollars. Of course, it would have had originally had a dust jacket. Um, I do find that people are interested in um, specific types of international cooking or a variety of international cooking. So this one, the subtitle is Menus and Recipes for an International Eat-In and it has recipes from Greece and Denmark and Mexico, Italy, Hawaii. Um, so that will sell, I'm quite sure. And then here is the Laurel's Kitchen Bread Book. And it should bring about eight to $10. It's a soft cover, um, but a specialty bread book will be of interest to a lot of buyers. And then here's quite a new cookbook that I would not buy. Um, it's focus is on, um, did I say bread book? Cookbook. It's, it's really country oriented with some recipes in the back, but my daughter picked it up for free. <laughs> and it should bring about six to $8. And it was published in 19, oh, 1991 cookbook. And then the last cookbook that I want to mention is, of course, a Julia Child's cookbook. This is From Julia Child's Kitchen by Julia Child. Very cool cover. Uh, as you can see, it dates to 1975. It would have originally had a dust jacket, which would make it more valuable. Um, I will price it at $20 to $25. Um, all of her cookbooks sell really well. First edition of her French um, cookbook that she wrote with two other French cooks can bring in the thousands and thousands of, of dollars in the first edition. Let's not forget to talk about spiral bound soft cover cookbooks. They fall into generally two categories. One is those that are made by churches and civic groups to raise money. And then those um, that are published uh, for whatever reason um, in that format. Of course, a cookbook that is either in a three ring binder or that's spiral bound opens flat, which is very nice for anybody using a cookbook, right? So this one's called Uprisings, the Whole Grain Baker Book, and it should sell for eight to $10. The first one that I showed you was in a free box. I would not normally have, have picked this one up, it's 1987. 
I will probably sell that for four or five dollars. Um, I pick up, I will pick them up for 50 cents or less. I don't like to pay a lot for them. And if they're interesting to me, um, so this one is Farms First. So I think that will be attractive. This, this one was also free. Um, should sell for about five or six dollars. Then this had a kind of a cool cover talking about home cooking and it was 50 cents and it should sell for four or five dollars. And then I picked this one up, Favorite Recipes of Home Economics Teachers. And I think that will appeal to a very specific person and it's all desserts and so it should sell for about six to eight dollars. And then here's the last one that is so interesting. This is called From Ridgewood Kitchens, dating to 1941. It's missing its cover. It's made to look like it's handwritten because the recipes, um, I believe, uh, this is how they were um, sort of handed in or sent in by the members of this. It's a woman's guild of the West Side Presbyterian Church in Ridgewood, New, New Jersey. And so I think they just um, copied them, Xeroxed them directly from those handwritten recipes. Now, what is also in here are a number of recipe cards and clippings from newspapers and from magazines. There's a page in there like this. So I have a whole article on my website about handwritten recipe journals. So this is kind of a crossover, right? Because it's got the original handwriting, but it's um, printed, but then it has these extra things in it. And so I sell my handwritten recipe books for anywhere from 35 to $45 on Etsy. And I recommend giving, I, I recommend giving that a try. I will try this one on Etsy in the um, probably 30 to $32 range. I think it has a lot of uh, appeal for um, cookbook collectors. So I encourage you, if you haven't tried selling cookbooks before, give it a try. Like I said, they sell really well for me. I sell them from my antique booth. I have a little section that's just cookbooks. I sell at least one a month and usually two or three or four, sometimes more, sometimes to the same buyer. And then the more valuable, rarer examples, I will sell on eBay. So generally after I make the purchase, I will check prices on eBay and a couple I will sell there. And then others I'll sell from my antique booth. So I hope you'll give them a chance if you haven't before. And um, thanks for joining me today in my talk about cookbooks. And as always, happy hunting.